Alright, so next topic this episode is Age difference in dating. Um, you know, this one kind of is I've something seen it, with us. Yeah, I've seen it going around the fandom like several times on Twitter, so I feel like this is something we should talk about. Especially Plus it kind of is personal. Up our alley. Yeah. <laughs> Go ahead. So, um, what are your thoughts on like unusual well, age difference with For us we're about eleven years. Yeah. Between. Um you know, we, we kind of have the age right to where I think that it doesn't really matter that much. No, like I'm already well into adulthood. Mm-hmm. I can live on my own, which I am. I can pay my bills on my own. I do my own stuff. I don't have my family's involvement. So I am very much an adult. And as you grow, you're going to be like 40 and 30. You're going to be yeah. 50 and 40. And it's not going to seem as much of a difference. As we get older, we're both going to be mm-hmm. old, old anyways. <laughs> <laughs> but... I can see where a lot of people have trouble. It's where they're like 18. Yes. 18. And then somebody is like 50, 60 years old. At that point, that's kind of creepy. But it would still matter as in who initiated the date or the mm-hmm. relationship. To explain for Say if somebody is 18 and they're preying on somebody that is 60 just because they have money. That's technically legal, moral, not quite. I've actually even seen it in the fandom. I'm not oh, going to say who, yeah, but I have seen it. We have. Uh, but usually people are more worried about somebody with a lot of experience preying on somebody that's just barely getting out of yeah, what like, they consider being a kid. Like say somebody's like 18, 19, 20 and they're dating somebody who's like 30, 40 Mm -hmm. Um, That could make the older person feel better about themselves dating a very young person and still preying on them and feeling good because they're technically an adult. But if the people are satisfied and happy with their relationship, it shouldn't be a problem. Yeah, it's very, very situational. Mm -hmm. And it's something that you really shouldn't get involved with if there's no red flags about it. There's there's a lot of topics we do on here that seem to be just people getting into other people's yeah. business. Yeah, and every time I saw the age difference on Twitter, it's just like, we have like 10-year difference. Mm-hmm. We're happy together. There's nothing wrong about but, it. But you'll see call-outs of like, if you're 10 years difference... That's disgusting. Don't even do that. Don't come near me. Stuff like that. It's like, why? If people feel that they're mature enough for it and they have a happy relationship, that's none of your business at that point. We're in a healthy relationship. Mm -hmm. Like, why is that a bad thing? And then you'll see other people, like, you know, they'll comment and be like, well, we have this and that. And then they're like, oh, I'm glad you have that good a relationship. So it's like, why bring it up to begin with? What is their goal with this then? (laughs) I, I guess it's at one one side trying to be keeping people safe. Well, but yeah. on the other side, it's just butting in. Well, they're just they have this idea in their mind, and then they don't really consider different situations besides what's in their mind is the mm. thing. I I would say like you know the the extreme end of it is kind of kind of strange. Yeah, it just depends. There is a certain point. I can say that, like, between me and you, it doesn't really feel like there's age difference. No. I, I mean, could it's... imagine that somebody that's 18, even at my age, somebody that was 18, it would be kind of strange. Yes, definitely. That's, like, half of your age. Yeah. I I, I don't think I would be happy with that. Uh-uh. The only difference that I really can tell our age is because when you bring up, like, 80s music, 80s <laughs> movies, and then I yeah. just can't relate. It's like, I wasn't from that era. I there... can't... There can be a slight generational gap Yeah, in other than that, we're perfectly fine. Yeah. We get along, and it's no different than dating somebody my own age. I, I don't really want to see somebody that's older being preyed on that thinks they no. found love. <laughs> and no. it's like, oh, they're going to take all my money and scram. I, uh. I don't want to see that either. So, you know, there's definitely both sides of it. The basis of a healthy relationship is love, respect, compromise. Mm. And if you have that, then what does it matter if you're both legal? Yeah, it's a lot of stuff coming down to just don't butt in with other Yeah, things. and then there's your uh, 
other YouTubers that you see hmm. with the the oh, yeah, yeah. thirty something year old with the forty eight year old. Yeah, I watch a, a gaming channel yeah. that has somebody who his he's older, she's yeah. younger. Bigger age difference than we mm-hmm. have. They're happy together. They're married. They had a kid. So it's it's strange to us, but then what does it matter? But yeah, it it could there can be some weird somewhere in there, but mm-hmm. if they're happy. Be cool with them. Leave them alone, yeah. please. <laughs> you know, that that's really all I have to say. Again, it's uh, a lot of butting in where it doesn't need to be. Yeah, buddy. don't generalize. Don't speak for every couple because you don't know the details of it. Mm. So just be careful out there no matter what. And mm-hmm. um, hopefully people in general find people that they're going to be happy with. Yep, be careful with dating. Um, approach it cautiously. If you mm. found somebody who does seem to treat you well, go with it. Yeah. If you see red flags, don't be afraid to leave. Yeah, it, a lot of experiences out there, I'm sure, yes. for everybody. But that's about it. Focus on happiness mm-hmm. above all. Yeah, find a cool relationship, you'll be happy. Next topic. Yeah. What's the next topic? Let's see.